Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Bakertron and welcome to another game of Homeworld. Today we will have a 1v1 on the map uh, Subjugate Your Friends I believe. Yes, I think it is. And today just to be confusing with the colour scheme, the red player here is yellow here and here and the yellow player, the yellow coloured player is red here and red here. Just because why not? Anyway, as you can see from the bottom left, uh, two players today. The red one, as in the colour scheme red, is Blood SLS, the System Lord Syndicate. If I'm remembering that correctly, SLS, one of the top notch clans in the old Homeworld game. Uh, certainly, we've seen quite a few of their games, especially recently. I believe this is a map pack of uh, an SLS member called. Ultra, or at least it's been suggested to me it's Ultra and certainly he's in a lot of games here uh, so yes we may have them to thank for all of these games and his opponent is Hivemind as I said who I've not seen before so hopefully we'll get a good game out of him was that English? Yeah. Uh, I seem to just go higher and higher as I said that I'll try that again Hopefully, we will get a good game out of him. There. I, I'm, I think that was understandable. Uh, unfortunately, because we are both... We are uh, just the observer. We can't select these games. I'm sure, for some reason, I am absolutely positive. No, no. I, I, I was paranoid that I've uploaded this game already. But that was actually one with another SLS member in. Uh, the problem is, is, is I've done like 12 games in the past three days and only one of them worked. Which is an awesome game between... Um, I can't remember. E oh, M from Clan BIB and his opponent was Kemel of FSS. Okay, you totally... Oh, go away! Okay, I don't have time to sort of redo this. So I apologise if you saw that. Uh, if you're just listening to my voice, I did not just tell you to go away. Uh, but yes, where was I? Okay, I've got to focus on the game. <sighs> I've had too, far too much caffeine and all that. So we can see Blood SLS coming in with the standard scouts. Like Corvettes, everybody's got their harvesters in the. Actually, no. Only Blood has his harvesters in the. Oh, yeah, no, there they are. For Hive Mind. Although Hive Mind only has one there. One there. So Hive Mind is a bit slower on the. Uh, I think it's a couple of fraction seconds slower. But that may not be much. Uh, Blood has also gone for two controllers, whereas Hive Mind, I think, only has one there. Yep. And Hive Mind actually he has interceptors out as well, so make a note of that. Whereas I think Blood is just stuck with Corvettes and Scouts, unless he has some over here. Actually he does have an interceptor there. But they're pretty well matched. I think the main difference is that Blood has the second controller. Which I think will give him a slightly more efficient harvesting. And well the longer the longer that goes on the better position he will be in but he's got a sort of he's got to harvest enough or more than his opponent to pay for that second controller if his opponent kills him before then then obviously he hasn't paid off but hive mind doesn't seem to be that aggressive at the moment it's definitely blood coming in with the aggression and those hive mind scouts weren't really moving that much when that first attack came in, I think they took quite a few casualties in the initial volleys. And at the moment, well, it's going to come down to, I think, because they weren't moving in those initial attacks, Blood just has a slight advantage here. And that advantage is now steamrolling more and more. Certainly, if we switch to this view, Blood, who's now the 
guy with the yellow shapes around him. I think he's distinctly winning. He's still got this nice Corvette wall here. There's no support for guitar for either player to keep him. In. Actually, no, there's one for blood. But so as long as that Corvette wall has stayed alive, he's definitely winning. And yes, we can clearly see now his scout force is just dominating as that advantage piled up and piled up until it is now in a fantastic place and why am I no lag? Oh, stop lagging please it is out with heck of corvettes and is swinging in to start hitting hitting hive mines resourcing operation hive mine is gonna have to flee the problem is is he can't he's the resources are too slow and even heavy corvettes are going to chase them down but he's not out of this yet we've seen gravel generators come out with decent things before and he's coming in but he switched he stuck with uh, strike craft and he went for attack bombers and attack bombers aren't what he needs right now he needs either more strike craft or gravel generator these attack bombers and especially as they're shooting <laughs> even these corvettes they're missing they, they missed with the first volley at least and now they've just been taken out all the attack bombers go down. I'm making a critical mistake in his researching, and his already small chance is just vanished into thin air. Now, Hive can Hive Mind can technically stay on because it will take a fair few minutes for Blood to kill him, but I'm pretty certain that Blood will now win. Again, last few ships of Hive Mind coming in. And they're just another four attack bombers and one interceptor. It's really not the technology path you, he wanted to go in. So I'm expecting these to go down pretty quickly. There we go, only one left. Oh, it's down. And I mean, Hive Mind can keep on throwing these small groups into battle, but he's never going to change anything with them. Ever so, he's even got salvage corvettes out. I, I think he very much expected blood to go for the frigates rather than rather than the corvettes, but he went for the heavy corvettes. And I assume probably multi-gun corvettes will be out as well fairly soon if they're not out already. So yes, I, mean, I don't want to count anybody out just yet. He could get a gravel generator, but even then, this is a lot of ships. And I, I think Blood is just wanting to end this. He may have just maybe just kamikazing some of his ships into hive mines. He can certainly afford to do so. Hive mine flying around now with his last two scouts and last two bombers. And even in the time it took me to say that sentence, all but one of them got taken out. So yes, we just have to see how long now does Hive Mind want to keep this going for? Is he going to be honourable and just say? That's it, I'm done. Or is he going to try to make me miss my train? And yeah. Okay, I think when I talked about controllers earlier, I may have identified the wrong player. This is the fourth game of fourth game. This is the fourth time I've casted this game and I messed it up. Okay, I believe also Hive Mind got the two controllers out. Yes, it is Hive Mind got the two controllers out, and that set him back. Blood was able to capitalise on that. He had the slight advantage at the start of the fight, so now, yes, I think that is why Hive Mind lost. It's terribly sorry about that. Let's just double check. I'm yes, Hive Mind. So uh, Blood only has one controller out, whereas Hive Mind had the two. Yes, so sorry. Uh, you know, if this was my job, I'd quit, but it's not. So I'm going to keep on going, and you're going to have to suffer through all my mistakes. And hopefully, we won't have to suffer through ten minutes of watching these strikecraft very slowly pick away at this mothership. But 
you know, as I say, I've casted this a few times. So I, I believe Hive Mind will now scutter, scuttle his ship. His mothership. So I'd like to congratulate Blood SLS and commiserate Hive Mind. I hope you have enjoyed watching this very short game. If you have, please like, subscribe, comment, dance around, get drunk, uh, ask your crush out on a date, something along those lines. You know, do it for me. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in another video that I managed to cast and not screw up as much as I have this one. And hopefully I get them all uploaded and hopefully this is recorded properly and hopefully Hive Mind will call it a day. I'm going to give him 10 more seconds. If not, then that's going to be it. I know he scuttles his ship fairly soon and he has nothing left. So five, four, three, two, one. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.